Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media Headlines. And we're going to get into your hot headlines of the day. Remember, you can read all of these headlines in our uh, on our shorts feed as well. Or, alternatively, if you want to read the articles yourselves, you uh, members on our Discord through Ko-Fi, Patreon, Discord subs, and the rest, get access to the archives. Artists continues. Artists strike against video game companies using AI continues. The Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television, Radio, or in otherwise known artists, otherwise known as SAG, after the union of about 160,000 voice of artists, DJs, and other entertainment professionals, announced today that the strike against video game development studios will continue after three days of negotiations. Negotiations resumed with the employer unit, which includes Activision Productions, Blind Light, Disney Character Voices, EA. Form Sola Interactive, Insomni Interactive, Wama Productions, Take Two Productions, WB Games on October the 23rd. Say after said in a statement, the organization states that the strike remains in effect against all signatories of the interactive media agreement, with the exception of games signed under the tiered independent interactive media agreement or an interim interactive medium media agreement. By God, ladies and gentlemen. Support the union. Solidarity forever for the union makes us strong. Do -do -do -do. CD Projekt Red has expanded its playtesting program to North America. The Witcher and Cyberpunk Studio is now taking registrations for testers. CD Projekt Red has expanded its game playtesting program from Poland to include North America. Right now, we're holding playtests at our studio in Warsaw and occasionally Boston and Vancouver. An official FAQ players aged 16 and or over can sign up as long as they're not working in the games industry. They need a CD Projekt Red account and will have to complete a questionnaire. It gives participants a unique opportunity to influence the development of CD Projekt Red games by sharing their feedback on everything from gameplay mechanics and story delegate to character development and artistic direction. And they're able to do so from very early stages of the production process. CD Projekt Red does the program. Participants will be rewarded with exclusive loot and a chance to make their voices heard. The development of Cyberpunk 2077 sequel, which is codenamed Project Orion, is headed by CG Project Red's new North American arm, which has studios in Boston and Vancouver. By God, a second cyberpunk. Wood. Blade and Sorcery Nomad finally feels complete with a 1.0 update. It has finally re re reached its 1.0 update, bringing the standalone vision version, mostly. On par with his PC VR counterpart, that means Crystal Hunt skill trees and amazingly, Citadel Map, which have been PC exclusives until since Nomad launched in 2021. So, on the biggest feature is easily Crystal Hunt mode, a progression based version of the physics based sword fighting game, which leads to a small reason to immerse yourself in Blade and Sorcerer's World. While the story is admittedly very low on details, there's plenty of lore and there's an engaging uphill battle of getting crystals to enhance your skills. I would love nothing more than to play this. The, like Blade and Sorcery seems like so much fun. In fact, we also have one on the bounty board in uh, our Discord server, but, you know, God, wouldn't that be fun? JetBrains launched Rider for Unreal Engine free version integration with Blueprints, Mix C++, BP, Call Stacks, and the Debugger, and native support for the Up Project model, and more. Rider for Unreal Engine supports Windows, Mac, and Linux, and is powered by ReSharp for C++, offering advanced native support for modern C++. Here's the thing: Why are we still supporting C++, man? C++ has been like Matt. Like I'm not like I'm, obviously there's still a lot in the tech stack. Oh man, but like I don't know. C++ like C++ like was what what like was supposed to fix what happened to C. C became a giant bloated nightmare and C++ was supposed to fix that and then it became an even gianter bloated nightmare and now the same thing has happened to Java and it's slowly happening to Python. Rust supremacy will be happening sooner rather than later. Marathon gets a proof of life update from Bungie playtesting coming in 2025. The sci-fi extraction shooter isn't ready to show gameplay yet though. So before I get continue, I just want to say that the extraction genre you know, if you want if you want a mo more modern one, Tarkov. If you want something like more fantasy based, Dark and Darker. You really don't need to play anything else. If you want baby, if you want a baby or more like easier one, you play uh, DMZ on Warzone. There you go. Like the th like there's a, like there, the extraction genre is like it's the it's like it's like hero shooters or. You know, battle rails. It's like it's a trend that people are chasing, and I think that 
in the next year, like the hype over those types of games is going to go away. And well, I don't know if Marathon is going to be as successful as Bungie thinks it is. What they should be doing is like actually supporting and making good stuff for Destiny too, but they're not. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is your warning that we will be now leaving the nerdy, the uh, nerd news portion of the segment and onto late night news session where we talk about the world, geopolitics, U.S. politics, uh, uh, updates. Generally, the sadier, more sucky stories. So this is your content warning for going forward. If you don't want to see any of that stuff, now is the time to click off the video. North Korean soldiers learning Russian commands and may be sent to Ukraine front line, South Korean lawmakers say. About 10,000, we've covered this extensively over the last week. The South Korean National Intelligence Service is now watching the possibility of some North Korean personnel, including high-ranking military officials, moving from the front, moving to the front lines. Russia is teaching North Korean soldiers about 100 basic military words like fire and in position. However, they added it's clear that North Korean soldiers are struggling to communicate, and it's not clear whether they'll be able to breach the language gap. North Korea has stepped up its security measures, both to protect its dictator and to prevent news of North Korean deployments to Russia from spreading within widely isolated bombardment country. So let's be for real. Um, Russia is very much needs more bodies to put in the meat grinder, but they can only put so much in before, you know, Putin, the war becomes deeply unpopular and it becomes a threat to Putin. Also, I'm pretty sure that North Korean soldiers aren't equipped for fighting abroad. Ballot drop box fires under, under investigation in Oregon, Washington, after hundreds of ballots are destroyed. Evidence from the incendiary devices found in the ballot boxes on Monday show the fires are connected, as well as the third incident reported in Vancouver, Washington on the 8th. A spokesperson for the Portland Police Bureau, while many of the ballots in Portland were unaffected, hundreds of ballots were destroyed in a Vancouver ballot box. Portland police also identified a suspect vehicle leaving the scene of the fire in Portland, which is believed to be tied to two incidents in Vancouver as well. They said in a news release on Monday, the car appears a black or dark colored 2001-2004 Volvo that's missing a front plate and an unknown rear plate. We don't know the most behind these acts. Yes, we do. We do. We absolutely do. It's probably some right-wing MAGA nutjob who is doesn't want, you know, the liberal-leaning Portland to have its ballots count, and they're trying this very ineffective way to stop that. And they will catch this fuckhead soon enough, and they deserve to be buried under the prison. Philadelphia DA sues Elon Musk's America PAC for its over $1 million giveaway. So we knew this was going to happen. We've covered this throughout the week so far. Uh, Elon Musk obviously is a is a herb, and he's a dumbass. And of course, this lot this million dollar giveaway every day until the election was down, bound for, to get him into legal trouble because he does a fucking thing. Kessner, uh, Larry, oh, District Attorney Larry Kessner said the first legal action is to be brought o over on and bleh, he's bringing it to him. Uh, Kessner's law office in a lawsuit coming a week before election day doesn't preclude any criminal action though, so. Maybe Elon Musk will get out of it. The Philadelphia District Attorney is charged with protecting the public from public nuisances and unfair trade practices, including illegal lotteries. The DA is also charged with protecting the public from interference with the integrity of elections. Remember that lottery is the only the purview of the government, that the old number system, you know, was mainly like supplanted by, you know, the government at this point. Mid mounted community pressure, Minneapolis police arrest a man accused of shooting his neighbor. How much you want to bet he was like a cop or affiliated with the cops, and that's why they didn't do anything. Minneapolis have taken a man into custody almost a week after he allegedly shot his neighbor in the neck, the culmination of a month-long campaign of racial harassment and violence. Yeah, that's why. You know, the all of those, the work forces, all are the ones that burn crosses. Now that the state's police department faces magic criticism for not making an arrest sooner, despite the victim filing reports of, about the arrest for months leading up to the shooting, we failed this victim 100%, Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara at a news conference Sunday. The Minneapolis police somehow did not act or somehow. We we know why. Like, goddamn, dude. Like, shit. You met, like, we've known for years. Like, there's a fuck in the early 2000s during the Bush administration, the FBI and the Pentagon warned about right wing infiltration about of police precincts all over the country. Like, we know what the fuck's going on. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, 
please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day. Quack.